अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड दिस इज़ पार्ट 19 ऑफ दिस वीडियो सीरीज इन दिस पार्ट इन वी विल बी कवरिंग एंड कंप्लीटिंग द रिफ्रेश टोकन एंड वी विल बी कंप्लीटिंग द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ दिस टॉपिक सो फार वी हैड डन लॉट ऑफ थिंग रिगार्डिंग द रिफ्रेश टोकन वी पार्शली यू नो डिवाइडेड दिस टॉपिक इन डिफरेंट वीडियोज जस्ट बिकॉज वी हैड already implemented some you know our code base and we had to make changes so that is why the you know this topic is extracted to multiple videos so this 19 will be the last for the refresh token and i just want to close this for now okay so in the last video what we had done uh, we uh, created a video in which we uh, written we modified a login method where we were just only returning the access token but we modified that method in the previous video and we were uh, able to return the refresh token and the expiry of now in this video what we will be going let's flip to the visual studio first <coughs> we will create a method when your access token will be expired you will be calling that uh, ex uh, that method to get a uh, new access token so what is this method method will be taking it will be taking your refresh token and your expired access token so you will in give both of the token and it will validate and the whole process we will write and it will give you a new token so we are going to implement this right now so far we have to go to the uh, interface of the user management and what we are going to do we will be naming it renew or recreate whatever you want to know rename it renew access token async and it will not be taking this otp and username this time you will be only giving mm, we had created a model before maybe so what was the model mm, in the service maybe we had that in the data No, no, no. In the service, maybe with the user login response. Yes, this one. So we will be inserting this. Tokens. Let's name it this. Hmm. Let's make it safe. go to the where you have mm, here now collapse all the method i make your cursor here so we will be creating a new method here you will be seeing an error upside because we have not implemented control mo Let's press. Oh, I have make something wrong over here. No, not here. Here, yeah. let's press Control Period, and you will get a method. Okay, impl implement the interface. Yes, I want to implement the interface. Now this method is up right here. Let's copy this. Make it paste over here. All right. so we have the two kind of token one is access token tokens dot access token other one we have is the refresh token all right now we are not giving the user credential again for getting a new access token so we need the claims uh, but in the last if you see in this jwt token method we added some claim and where is the logic let me find mm -hmm. we added the claim somewhere you see here 
auth claim and these we added the claim in this auth and created the token by this that means that token is containing all this authentication claims so we can extract that claims uh, from that expired token so we will be creating a separate method for that for getting the principal from the uh, this expired token so better if we make the separate logic so let's make it here and make a private method private claim principle get claim principle and this will be taking the input parameter string access token okay for now i am copying and pasting all the parameters that i already had done upside somewhere while creating the jwt token so you can see from here it will be like same uh, token validation parameter validate audience is false sure is false signing key is true and this is issuer signing key that i'm picking it from the configuration okay i have uh, taken a secret key on app setting you can see up right here so i'm picking it up the next step this token handler is equals to new jwt security token handler and for getting the principal we have to pass this you're passing your access token which is expired so it will validate it will get the principal out from this uh, <coughs> expired token and we will return this principle return principle let's copy this up call this method access token dot token var principle equals to this okay so I can see I have a method that I can reuse this method is doing all the thing it is adding the claim and it is creating the access token it is getting the refresh token as well and expiry so for now I'm thinking to reuse it maybe it looks like that it will not cause any issue so i will be using this method let's call this up here okay get this and now i have to pass username which i can identity dot uh, identity dot name Uh, it's a username first I have to get the username so I cannot directly use it let's comment it var user equals to underscore user manager dot get user by name a sync just uh, find by name is sync and here you can pass principal dot identity dot name now you will get the user once you get the user you can copy this piece of code and paste it over here okay we already have here now pass the user and make it var uh, tokens equals to await this of oh, i cannot name it as 
uh, let's make it for temporary as a response okay task and this should be also a wait a wait now it's fine now we will be returning response return response oh, let me make sure that this will update your ticket uh, token or not yes so this method has saved our time that we created in the last video hopefully this will be working we don't need this refresh token over here maybe removing it let's go back and create an endpoint for calling this refresh token go to the controller same like login with otp login dash just name it as a refresh dash token name it as refresh token Okay, sorry. We have to pass login response tokens. One mistake we have made. What if I go back here? What is the use of this refresh token which I did not? Because I haven't checked uh, cross verify the refresh token which I'm sending through the request is same or not. So I have to verify it. If my refresh token is not equal to the refresh token which is saved in the user table and And this expiry date is greater equal to date time dot now. Sorry, less than. So we'll not be returning this response. We have to give something else. Uh, if the token is not matched, the refresh token is not matched with the refresh token which is safe in the user table and the expiry date is less than the current date. So we have to return that this token is expired, the refresh token has expired or the token is invalid. So you have in that case user have to log in again. So we can copy some response from somewhere that we created already return this let's copy this for saving the time and paste and for the access token and these kind of thing let's remove this response we are not doing anything is success is false and let's make it as a bad request now we are done 
now it's time to check this okay we'll go to the login method and i will put the credential and we'll confirm it through the otp it's telling me that we have sent an otp to your email okay i'm copying this going upside here try okay execute on C, I got the access token and the refresh token both. Let's copy this and check. Thrice closed, get, try it out. Now we are able to use this. Mm, it is source. After the one minute, this access token will be expired. And then we will call this endpoint for getting the refresh token. All right, right after the one minute, when I click on this execute, you see I'm no longer to use that ticket token it's giving me the token expired now it's time to check this refresh token thing okay so we will copy okay let's copy this response completely and try it out paste execute it's giving me 200 that a new token is created and you got a new token let's try this up now let's copy this authorize make the old token remove and now let's check see i'm again able to so we covered the refresh token successfully I hope you guys enjoyed this video series. If you really like this video, please like, share and subscribe. I will be making a new video series. And right now I'm planning with uh, some architecture things. So if you guys really like my content, then please like, share and subscribe. I see you in the next video. Take care. Love is.